All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Sam with GSK Wealth Builders, and today we're going to be talking about staking Solana on Soul Fire. So I stake everything because I want to earn yield on my investment while I'm speculating on the price, right? So, um, yeah. So this guide here is a guide that I found online from staking facilities. I just bought Solana within the last couple of days, so I don't know much about Solana, but I'm going to learn. So here we go. Okay, so staking facilities provided this guide, how to stake Solana on Solar Flare with a, and a Ledger Nano S. So if you have a Ledger Nano, you're gonna set it up, you're gonna access your wallet, create a staking account, delegate your staking to a validator, and then manage your staking operations. So the way staking works, the way staking works, you have your coins in your wallet. They're not earning any yield, right? So that's fine. I think Solana is gonna, I think Solana is gonna 10x, for example, right? But what if I could get 10% more coins per year while I'm waiting for that 10x? What if it doesn't 10x for three years, five years? What if it drops 50%? and then 20 X's and so I get a 10 X, right? So what you want to do is you want to earn yield or earn income, passive income. So the way you do that is by giving your coins to a smart contract or putting your coins in a smart contract that enables to secure the network and stake the network. Also, it makes the price, it takes some liquidity from the market because your coins are locked up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna earn 10%. So Ethereum is paying about 7%, 6 to 7% on staking. Solana is paying 10. So we'll find out how to find that yield, how to stake, and you're going to, yeah, earn yield. So I only bought like $1,000 worth of Solana just to test this out because I, I don't know if I'm going to go big on the staking or just hold it somewhere else. So we're going to go through there. So part one is setting up your Ledger Nano. You can set that up yourself. Part two is accessing a wallet. So Soul Flare is the only wallet that I know of where you can stake inside the wallet. Instead of sending someone your coins, you can stake in your wallet, which is that's what I want to do. I want to stake in my wallet so I can maintain positive control of my wallet. Sound like a military. Term. Anyways, so you're going to create your wallet. My wallet's already created. You're going to access it and then you're going to create your staking account. So after you funded your wallet, you create a stake account. So I'm guessing what you do is you're going to move your coins from your main wallet to your staking wallet. And we'll see how that works. And all of this is live. I've never done it before. And so it's part of the DeFi journey. Delegating your stake. So then you delegate your stake to a... Oh, here's some recommended people. That's great. Oh no. Because I was wondering who I'm going to delegate to. There's just a bunch of random names. There's no track record or anything. I was like, how do I know this person is actually good? How do I know this person's not going to get you know, in trouble? So now, at least this person, now I'm obviously I'm trusting the internet, trusting someone I don't know who wrote this website, but it is what it is. What's going on with the website? Okay, there we go. I'm just going to tweet these. So I can have it later. Most of my tweets is me talking to myself. So you just got to, that's why it's, there's no context sometimes. But... That's how I take notes. Okay, so. There we go. Okay, so I just tweeted that to myself. So I can know who the validators are. So then managing your staking operations. Okay, so once you're 
Once inflation is enabled, you will receive staking rewards for each epoch. These automatically accrue in your stake account at the beginning of the subsequent epoch. Don't know what an epoch is. I'll have to learn. How to delegate more SOL. So in case you want to increase the amount of SOL you're delegating to a specific validator, it is recommended you create another separate stake account oh. and delegate to the respective validator. So simply repeat this. Don't like that. So imagine I'm depositing every month. I'm going to have 50 stake accounts in a couple of years. Okay. It is what it is. Or you, if you wanted to restake every day and add more and compound, so that's, you know, it's a downside, but okay, let's look at this. In case you want to undelegate part of your funds, you need to split the stake account. If so, say I had $10,000, I need 5,000. You're going to undelegate. Now, how long does it take? Because Binance, it's like seven days. So once you, once the cool down period has concluded, two to three days, you can withdraw your undelegated funds from your stake account to your wallet. That's amazing. Three days, two to three days. Yeah, because Binance, I'm still waiting for coins that I undelegated a week ago. And then there's a certain threshold. Okay, seems easy. Next. This is docs.solana.com slash staking. So this is Solana's official document. So you can double check what someone's blogging about or talking about like me in here. That's where you want to go to the source, right? So they're talking about how do I stake? So you go to Soul Flare, you can use the command line, you create a staking account, you select a validator. They say go onto form. There's a form so you can check out validators there. And so then go to Soul Beach. So I wanted to go to Soul Beach to get information about staking. So I went to soulbeach.io take a look at what's going on on the Solana blockchain. So when you look at it, and before we go to Soul Beach, I just want to show you this. So FTX exchange is the exchange that Sam Bankman freed, the guy that I talk about a lot, billionaire, I think he's 28 years old. In three years, he made $10 billion net worth. Then he bought the Miami Heat stadium name and he's called it FTX stadium. So. I'm going to listen to someone who's, you know, either he's lucky or, but he's, or he's smart. And I think he's smart and, and lucky at the same time. If you don't want to go through all of this, you can just deposit your coins into, into FTX and get your staking. So you're going to go here, Solana. Look where it says stake your Solana, receive 10% annualized staking rewards. Boom. Really easy. Then they say take seven days to unstake. Cool. I'm not going to do that. So, epoch. Okay. So each epoch they're talking about, you get your rewards. So this epoch has 22 hours left. It's 66% done. So if we take that and we what triple it, one, two, three. An epoch might be every four days. I don't even know. Maybe every two to three days because that's how long it takes to unstake. So current transactions per second, this is cool. So this is where the validators are. Let's look at that, right? All the validators, you got US, you got Europe, China, that's it. Not in Africa. I mean, Nova Scotia's up here. I don't think there's any Nova Scotia. There's none in Ontario, there's none in BC, there's none in South America. So staking is still transactions per second. It was just 600. Now it's 1,558 transactions per second. You know what? You know what Ethereum's doing? <laughs> Ethereum gas right now is like 170 bucks as of last night. So if you got transactions per second down to uh, up to 1,500 transactions per second, Ethereum does 15, like 10 to 15. They're doing 1,500. So that's why I like Solana. Circulating supply, 240 million. Uh, Solana's price, $44. So I, I think Solana's just going to sit around and do nothing for a while. And then eventually something big's going to happen. Like some big news is going to happen. It's going to just rock it. That's what Binance Coin did. Binance Coin did nothing for years. And then it just did like a 40x in like months. So I think Solana, it's already done. 
it's 40x, so I think it's good for now. Market cap 22 billion. I see it going to 400 billion if if they can continue this without any other coins coming and killing them. So this is Solana Beach. I guess it's just talking about the um, the blockchain. So then Solana staking, we already went over staking. I think I know enough about staking. So what is the expected staking yield? Okay. So the staking yield, when there's no one staking, it's high. 10%. Oh no, this is year one. So year zero to one, we're at 10, I guess year zero, maybe. We're at 11. We're going to drop. Year one, we're going to be at seven year two we're going to be at six year three we're going to be at five by year three i'm out um well i might not be out but expect gains this is not financial advice so okay that's the staking yield that's cool so now let's try to stake so i got my validators app i didn't want to do this until because I want to test the speed of the blockchain. So I currently hold coins on my other uh, crypto account. Like I hold my coins on a centralized exchange right now. So I'm going to send my coins to my Soul Flare wallet because I prefer to hold my coins on my wallet. I'm never going to leave my coins on a centralized exchange for a long period of time. Yesterday when Doge was going crazy, you couldn't even access your wallet. So, okay, so I have, so I'm going to, I'm just hitting, I'm um, hitting transfer, so I'm on uh, my phone, so I'm going to do withdraw to an external wallet, add wallet, I bet you they're going to make me jump through, they're going to make me jump through all these hoops to get this money out. So I'm going to call this Soul Flare One. Continue. It says check your email. Okay, so it's saying confirm the address. We have now confirmed the address. New wallet added. Okay, so I'm going to withdraw everything. Confirm. Wait. Okay, so the fee that they're charging me from this uh, crypto.com centralized exchange wallet, the fee is 0.04. 005 soul. Okay, so the request has been submitted. I don't like that because it means someone else has to approve it. So zero point. So what's the price of Solana right now? Oh yeah, we already we already saw it. It's forty four dollars. Okay, so $44, so they just charged me a, a withdrawal fee. So 0 0.00 times. Not bad, not bad. So 22 cents. They're charging me 22 cents to withdraw. Way, way better than Binance. Okay, so, whoa. It's there already. Whoa. It's there already. <laughs> okay. You seen that change? This is fast. That was less than that was less than 15 seconds. Okay. Now let's go. We're, we're in the game. So we got my we got our wallet. So can you can you search validators? 61 pages of validators. Okay, create a staking account. How much would you like to deposit? The whole 
ませんレミリーフ Half a cent. Let me leave half a cent just in case I need gas. Okay, so depositing stole will create an account with a seed. So I'm just going to pause the video just in case it's trying to give like a seed phrase or something like that. Okay, we're back. So it didn't give a, it did not give a. It didn't give a seed phrase. All it did asked you to put your password in. Then it was like, okay, account funds deposited. So we're going to continue. So the funds are deposited. So it lets you view your account or view your transaction. So I'm going to go to view account. So this brings you on the Solana Explorer right there. 18.97 SOL. And then it says the rent reserve is 0 0.002 SOL. I'm not sure what the rent reserve means. The stake authority address, the withdrawal address, same address, history, and tokens. No token hold mix, no history. But the soul is there. Okay, let's go to let's go to the transaction details. So timestamp, that's the signature, nine May, the block hash. And it goes from this wallet to this wallet, and then the rent. And then create an account. Initialize the stake. Okay. So anyways, that's what it looks like. So we'll go to finish. So my balance is there. 0 0.005 of a soul. All right, I'm lost. So how do I stake? Okay, so I created the account. Stake account is different, blah, blah, blah. So if you have received soul in your wallet address you control, you can create a new stake account which has different blah, blah, blah. Okay, so after your stake account is created, you will likely want to delegate to a validator node. Below are a few places where you can get information on validators. So I already tweeted the validators. So for example, chorus, chorus one, I'm going to Google chorus one. If their fee is less than 10%, if their fee is less than 10 or is their fee is 10% or less, I will stake with them if I can find them. Wow, they're not even talking about the fees. Okay. Let's go. So, you shouldn't have. This is crazy. You shouldn't have to moonlit. So these guys, dental, 5%. Coverlet, were they on the list? So a list, Dokia, Certus One, Steakfish, Chorus One, Furbolt, Chainflow. 0% fee, 225,000. Why? 
Y, which is nice. Figment, I know them. Okay, Figment. Figment.io. I know them because I've been Googling staking and looking up staking for months. So Figment, I do know of them. I don't know them. I should rephrase that. I do know of them. Figment stakes a lot of tokens for people. They have CeeLo, Cosmos, Polkadot, Mina, Solana, the Graph, Terra. So I might even use them to stake Terra. Yeah, that's what I'm using. You should do more research than this. So, okay, Figment. Okay, there's my staking account. Not delegated, it says. So I'm gonna delegate now. I gotta go through this again. Figment. Enter the password, got to pause. Confirm transaction. See how fast these transactions are? Like 2.5 seconds. Then you can view the transaction. I like to view, I like, if, okay, if you're new to crypto, you should view every single transaction you do because you're gonna learn over time pattern recognition. This doesn't really like on the, especially on the Ethereum blockchains, but here you can, so, right, Solana, you have a signature, you have a time, you have the block hash, you have the fee. Look at the fee, 0 0.000005 of a cent. You have the, right, then, the account inputs, don't know what that is, but there's me, there's me. I'm not sure, maybe that's that's the balance of Solana. Then you're staked. Okay, so anyways, you should just read every single transaction, whether you know what it's going on or not, read them all. So, Soul Flare might experience one to two delays. Oh, it's fetching. Did you see that? So it automatically reloads and fetches. So, thousand Canadian eight hundred and forty-four U.S. dollars has been staked on the Soul Flare blockchain. It takes one to two minutes for it to show that it was delegated, but according to the transaction, it was. So now I want to go to my staking account. Okay, so there's my staking account in the show. So if I wanted to withdraw, I could hit the withdraw button. If I wanted to split it and say, I want to cut $44 off and send it somewhere else, I could split it, keep that in there. That's cool. Now, the other thing I'm looking for, I guess you would go on the Solana Explorer. So you'd copy this, for example, you'd go on Solana, Solana Explorer. We'll look at it again. So go on the Solana Explorer, you type in the account. There it shows, that's the staking account. It has 18.97 Solana in it, the rent reserve, and the history. So these, it has two transactions uh, on there, and then no tokens. So transaction one, transaction two, let's read them again. I'm guessing transaction one, me creating the account and depositing. Yeah, I don't know. And transaction two would be sending it to a validator. Not that clear, I'll delegate.
Let's see the first one if it has that delegate at the bottom. Create account. Okay, so at the bottom, right? Instructions should say like details or what what happened. Anyways, it's instructions is create account. Initialize the stake. So now you know that's a staking account. And then transaction two is instructions delegate the stake. So I've delegated it. So now I know I've delegated. Now we go back to Soul Flare. There we go. Figment. So now we're in Soul Flare. It shows your staking account. 18 Soul. It says the validator is Figment. I'm, I'm getting charged 7%. The seed is there it's activating and to undelegate you're done so then what should happen is my staking account should show maybe in a couple days i'll do a new video this balance 18.97 so what i do is what i do so i have a private twitter that no one has uh, no one has access to or no one knows the name of it so what i'll do is i take a screenshot of everything that i i do so i'm just going to take a picture so I take a screenshot and then I tweet it to my private account. The reason why I do this is um, part of being a disciplined trader or investor is having a, a journal. So my journal is this private Twitter account. So I'm going to post that picture and I'm going to say staked 18.97 Solana on soul flare at 5 p.m and actually you don't even have to say at 5 p.m and so that way now when i go back tomorrow i want to find out if did i make money so i'm going to look and say it's 8 44 165 did i make money how is the balance like where is this staking rewards coming in I don't know any of this, right? Maybe it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna show up here. It's gonna show up in the staking account. When I click here, it should show um, balance and then it should show the money somewhere. Oh, active stake. It should show there in the active stake balance. So maybe I should take a picture of that too. So then I can, okay, I'm gonna to reply to the one that I just did. And post. Okay, so now, so that's part of being a good trader is just being able to journal your, your journey. So you can write it down on a journal, you can tweet it. I, I prefer Twitter, private account, don't put it out there. When I post public stuff, it's like little things here and there. I'm just playing games like with small amounts of money. My private stuff, I keep it private. So everyone has the right to privacy. You should exercise your right to privacy and make sure. So there we go. Um, it's showing my transactions there. I guess the soul came in. Boom, it's staked. Things are going on. That's That sums it up. So, we go back to Solana's website. Okay, so that concludes uh, this video of the DeFi journey. Staking on Solana, it wasn't that hard, right? It was, it was pretty chill compared to other things. So that's the DeFi journey, how to stake on Solana. So now what I'm gonna be doing, I believe in Solana long-term, I'm gonna do another video on that. I believe on Solana long-term. So I'm gonna be putting constant, you know, if I make a trade and I have gains, I'm gonna put that in Solana. It's gonna be part of my treasury. Uh, when I do another trade and I have gains, I'm gonna put that in Solana. So you're gonna see, well, you're not gonna see, but I'm gonna see the Solana balance grow and grow and grow. So 10% on a large number, is um, it can make you you know income all right and then maybe once a week you unstake your profits and you spend that as your income and it becomes like a pension fund so that's what i'm trying to do here so the solana uh experiment has been very smooth i like solana i like soul fire you saw the speed
the speed, <laughs> unbelievable. The fees, 22 cents to send a 22 cents to send a transaction in 15 seconds. And I think it was less than 15, but um, I was talking. So 22 cents, then the other fees were like 0 0.0005 of a cent. You're very capital efficient and you're getting a 10% return on an asset that I believe is going to 10X. Why not? Why not? So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this one. This is one of my favorite videos because I, I'm impressed by Solana. So this has been one of my favorite videos. Um, and we're going to continue the DeFi journey. So thank you. And please like, please hit the like button. Let's help grow the channel. And we're going to put out new content weekly. So turn your notifications on. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And you can follow me on SamGSK on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you very much.